We'll start things off with the Street Stocks division, where Cameron Ellis in the green number 9 car had the early lead, but Andrew Pilo in the number 24 car managed to make steady gains on Ellis and then overtakes him at the midpoint of the 20 lap race. Pilo would hold that lead and goes on to take the checkered flag, and he's all fired up on victory lane as he notches his first win this year at Thunder City in the second last week of the season. Turning now to the Midwest Modifieds, Dave Simpson in the number 70 car grabbed the early lead and managed to pull away from the pack and secure the easy victory. It's Simpson's fifth win of the season in that category at Thunder City and his ninth checkered flag overall in 2023. Moving on to the Super Stocks feature, Simpson had the early lead in that race as well, but Minnesota driver Shane Sabarski in the orange and blue 7A car moved into the lead and held on for the victory. Sabarski was here to get used to the track in advance of next month's Dirt Track Nationals at Thunder City. And it looks like he's already got it figured out, as Sabarski also competed in the Wissota Modifieds race. He quickly took the lead in his other orange and blue car and went on to win his second checkered flag of the night and another trip to victory lane. And finally, in the Hornets division, Sidney Chazchuk in the red number 66 car was in a tight battle with Brendan McKinga in the 426 car. But Chazchuk managed to hold the lead in the 10 lap race to take her first ever win at Thunder City. The excitement was pouring out of her on victory lane and the celebration was capped off when her proud dad came to congratulate her. The final races of the regular season go next Wednesday night or Thursday if it rains, starting at 6.30. Jonathan Wilson, TBT Sports.